Hey everyone, it's Brie and I'm back with another scrap of process video for the Bella Boulevard creative team. And this week we are focusing on cut files and we are also using the Time to Travel collection. So I chose several different cut files and I work on a silhouette. So I access all of the cut files on the silhouette design store. So if you're searching for Bella's cut files, just go click under artists and then click Bella Boulevard and then you can access all of the different cut files that Bella has to offer. And there's a ton in there and they're so versatile. So um, I chose several different ones. This one right here is All Who Wander um, Are Not Lost. And this specific cut file is like a, like a positive cut file. So it's super, super simple to use. You can jazz it up or accent it with mixed media like I'm doing here. I'm just taking some Distress Oxide ink uh, in Wild Honey and I'm ink blending it on in like an ombre tone so I'm using just a normal size ink blending brush and then I'm going to pull in a smaller one just to get on those smaller letters so if you're into cut files but or you're wanting to use cut files but you don't want to necessarily have to back them um, or it just seems too tedious or you don't want to really mess with it it just look for maybe these kind of like titles and you can totally uh, personalize it to fit your layout by ink blending you can even use a stencil on it you can dip it in like watercolor you can do so many different things but for this one, I wanted to add extra sparkles. So I took out my favorite glimmer paste. Um, it is from Nuvo and it is in the color Moonstone. And all I'm doing is I'm just roughly painting on the paste, kind of thick, because it, it since Distress Oxide is, um, it activates or reactivates with water or any liquid, you just kind of have to go fast with it because it will pick up some of that color. Um, so I'm just lightly painting some of the paste on just to get some of that sparkle and shimmer. Um, but the other cut files I'm using, one is just, it's called clouds. And then I used two other ones that are called uh, cloud outlines or outline clouds. Um, and I had every intention of leaving them completely white and not backing them and just leaving them as is. Um, and that's just another tip for cut files. So you don't really even have to back them. There's so many different cut files out there that you can just cut and just place on your page, use as embellishments, use as like a base for your layout and build your page right on top of it. There's just so many different ways for cut files. I love working with cut files. Okay. So for the base of my layout, I'm using the ombre side of the hearts and ombre pa uh, p paper in ice. And then I've taken this freeway paper, um, from the collection and this striped side, I wanted to cut like strips and run them vertically, but I thought, okay, what if I cut two half inch strips and then flip them. So just to give it some interest um, and have the colors going one way um, and then going down the next like a different way. So I cut little four half inch strips. I'm gonna distress all of the edges and then I'm gonna hear it straight down onto that ice paper. It kind of looks like a, like a uh, sky and that's what I like about it. So I traveled home in June, like a couple, actually I just got home a week ago. My nephew turned 18 and he graduated high school. And so um, my sister threw him this, you know, birthday graduation party and I got to see some family and we just vacationed and had like the best time. So I have a lot of travel photos to document and this collection is perfect. So here's an up close shot. Whenever I use cut files, I love to pop them up on foam tape. I just think it gives them so much more interest and it adds the shadows and it just makes it pop because you know you put a lot of work into a cut file whether you know you back it or do whatever you want to it but just being able to you know to use your software and cut it like to me I want to accent it and I want to highlight it as much as I can so I'm going to back my photo uh, using the B side of that same freeway paper and of course I'm just going to distress the edges I just like the look of it and I'm going to adhere it down right underneath that um, title uh, so I'm going to start embellishing I'm using the chow chip chipboard stickers the ephemera icons I do use some of the trinket puffy stickers I just end up using the planes um, and that's it so from that chipboard sticker sheet I found this super cute like green and white polka dot scallop and I kind of treated it like an embellishment shelf and put it under my photo and then built off of it um, after I adhered it down. So I've got like the sign ephemera piece and I had some florals that I pulled out. And because we're in like a town, it's not necessarily the desert, but it was really hot and it's a little more inland because I'm from like a town that's like right on the coast in California. It's like the central coast. Um, so it's a little more inland and even though there aren't cacti, cacti um I thought it was just cute just to add it because we were outside and we were by the riverbed and um I just thought they were fitting 
So I added uh, two of those and I end up adding a smaller one. I'm just layering, like tucking things here and there, adding some tangled thread. Um, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and place all of my cloud cut files. So I have that huge outline piece there and a couple other ones. So I start with those and then I'll fill it in with the solid clouds. Now I did think about adding some like, um, like ink around the, uh, the solid clouds and maybe like, you know, to give them some depth and um, interest, but I just thought, no, just leave them flat, it's fine. And then when I adhered the cloud outlines, I only added uh, like glue to like the center pieces and that way the rest of it can pop up because their outlines, I thought they would just be fun if they were, you know, kind of messily added. Let's see. I'm adding some floral pieces and then I just have little tiny details that I'm doing now. And then I'm at this pink and red uh, heart. I'm kind of just looking at the colors that I have in each cluster, making sure that I have the same uh, colors in all of my clusters, just to make sure I've got pink and red and blue and some of that aqua. And uh, I do add a cute little sun. And here is where I add that third cactus, just to kind of, there was like a little space between my photo and the, the city signs and it kind of bothered me. So I wanted to cover it up. So that smaller cactus was perfect. I'm just gonna tuck in that red flower and I think that's it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna add a few planes here. And um, the photo is of me, my mom, my sister, and then my aunt, my aunt is in the red. And it was just nice. I haven't seen her, I think since Elijah was maybe one. So it's been about 15 years. Um, so yeah, so here is a close up of all the layout. I love how colorful it is and just how, even though I left the clouds alone, how much they still pop and really are like center stage of my layout. So thank you so much for commenting, watching, and subscribing. Make sure you visit my blog post up on the Bella Boulevard blog for all the links and access to the Bella Boulevard cut files. All right, I'll see you in my next one. Thanks. Bye.